Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want us to analyze Euro USD. If you have noticed, every single day I'll be doing analyzing of a current pair or a current price. So what you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below which pair you want me to analyze. And every single day I'll be picking from the comment section and we analyze those pair. Why? Because every day if we analyze, you already know what to do if the opportunity arises. So today, let us analyze Euro USD. And for me, you already know that I love my analysis from higher time frame. There's no way I can come here and be analyzing Euro USD and go to 15 minutes. No. The first thing, and I will tell you guys, the first thing that you need to do is always go to the monthly time frame. Once you go to the monthly time frame, you can now scale down all the way to the four hour time frame. So this is our monthly time frame. So Euro USD has been a very, very interesting, interesting, um, interesting pair because we can see from the monthly, I don't know if you guys, you spotted uh, this ranging channel break. There was this channel break in back in 2022. So there was a channel and then the market broke out of the channel. And the way you need, you know about channel break, the market has to go this distance. So according to our monthly time frame, we knew once the channel breaks, it will go to this distance. And distance, the full distance is not guaranteed, but at least it's half, it, it must go at least to the half. So what they did, they never went to the half meaning they still have a lot to do with coming down. So they never went to have, because if this sellers touched this area, let me tell you, it could be, um, we could not have confidence that the sale will continue. So the fact that they never reached here, I still believe that we might have a very strong sale coming down in this year, 2024. So that is the first thing. So. If you look from monthly perspective, uh, Euro USD might be having a long term sale. And everything like all this green, we can call it a retracement. That is the mm -hmm. first thing, guys, that I'm, I'm spotting. The next thing that uh, uh, I understand that this might be, that it might be a sale, like a long term sale, it's because of the ranging channel created again. So we have a ranging channel created here. And once you have this channel created here, anything can happen. Now we won't be uh, ignorant of if the market can break either side, because once you have a ranging channel, two possibility can happen. Either the market breaks on the resistance side or the market breaks on the support side. So I don't know if you have seen that channel. Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you think about Euro USD. Have you analyzed Euro USD from a monthly perspective? And have you spotted the, that channel? What is this channel trying to tell you? Because you have to understand what the market is trying to tell you. Because from the monthly, what we know, neither buyers or sellers are in control. Buyers stroke sellers. No one is in control. There is no way I can come here and tell you, oh, Euro USD is a sell. Oh, Euro USD is a buy. I'm just, um, I'm just predicting according to the patterns that were given. But the fact that they never reached the half of that channel, it gives me that vibe of maybe the whole of this up uh, from the buyers is a retracement. Mm -hmm. But the fact that now the market has entered in a new ranging channel, I cannot call this as a retracement. I will just say, whatever, wherever the direction the market will break to, that's where the market is going. And I don't know if you can spot, we have a very, we have a one candle resistance here. And as you know, a one candle resistance forms a double top. So the market might come and tap this and we have a double top and this double top now is the one that will be used to push the market. That is one incident. They can push to activate this new double top so that the market can go down. But the way we are, uh, as, as for the moment, we don't know what to, we don't know the long-term 
direction. So this is how you trade when you don't know long-term direction. If you don't know long-term direction of the market, if monthly has not given you an entry confirmation of either sell or buy, any trade that you enter, one, you use a stop loss, two, you use you target fewer pips. Because now we don't know the fate of Euro USD. Because if at all we hold our hands and say, until the day they will break, let me tell you, you might wait forever. If you say, I will trade Euro, Euro USD until the day they will break here. What if in the next three months they come down? Then when you're waiting for them to break, they come up. So it means if you trade like that, you never enter this trade. So the only thing that the market is telling us from Euro USD, number one, if you're on Euro USD, kindly use stop loss. Number two, if you're in, if you're trading Euro USD, uh, target from 20 to 50 pips, maximum of 50 pips. Number three, don't hold your trades. If you enter a trade and it is one, two, three days, don't hold these trades weekly, one week, two weeks, don't hold trades. Uh, most so people hold negative trades. I have come to realize majority don't hold profitable trades. They will hold the trades that are in drawdown. So if you find yourself in drawdown, it's better to cancel that trade because the trade can do anything. When we go to the weekly time frame, that's the same channel we have. You can see, you can see what is happening. The market was a very good downtrend. And we have, uh, let me remove this box because it's not making sense. Let me delete. So when you go to weekly time frame, we can see that the buyers have been pushing the market up. The buyers have been pushing the market up and we had a resistance. Days we will focus on the current. We are focusing on the current market. So we have a resistance here and the market was able to break this resistance. And you see the red, this red, green red gives us a resistance. So the first thing that you are noticing on Euro USD is that we have a resistance break. So what I need to tell you guys, uh, most so for my students, because BWA is not only in my, in my class, from anyone who has ever had me teaching about BWA, put Euro USD on your watch list because the end of this week we will know what to do. If you uh, apply BWA on Euro USD weekly, let me tell you, you will make money. So because they have broken, can you see that resistance they have broken? And the only thing here we can apply is BWA strategy. So if you're interested, on that strategy, you can subscribe to my course, you can buy my course. It's a whole module where I teach BW strategy. But what I'm trying to say is that um, anything can happen on Euro USD, but weekly time frame is not giving us anything. There is no much information because the market is just um, the sellers. Can you see the sellers are creating high lows? So the sellers are very weak, by the way. According to weekly, weekly can tell you that sellers are able are not able to break the laws that have been creating. So if you want to know that sellers have, have taken back their control, we just need to see change of character. How does the market change character when sellers start to break the support area? So what I need you to understand is that uh, Euro USD on the weekly time frame, we will be waiting for BWA. But there's nothing, there's no pattern, there's nothing. We're just seeing an uptrend. We cannot just buy uh, because I told you anytime a resistance is breaking, the market has to do a retracement. So we don't know how far the retracement will be, but that is the key thing that you need to understand. Any break of structure, the market has to do a retrace. Um, let's go to daily time frame. Weekly, I think whoever will benefit is my students. So let's go to the daily time frame. So when you go to the daily time frame, um, according to the daily, the only zone that this market can give us uh, a pattern is this zone. Can you see here? We might have our first pattern, a double bottom. And this double bottom, it will be OPT, which makes it very, 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 very strong. Why do I mean OPT? On the daily, we can have OPT. So guys, I want you to open your chart, mark this uh, zone because that's your first OPT. And when you have OPT, let me, let's go to weekly. Can you see there's nothing? So 
this double bottom can be used can be used guys so we need to really focus on this opt on um, on on daily so this is opt and this is our neckline so um what we need to do before even we we target our half we need this market to do what to come and touch here so that if they touch here, we will be dealing with a double bottom only on the daily. So I have told you, even if monthly it's a ranging channel, there's so many opportunities we can. You see where the double bottom is, it's nowhere on the monthly. Even if it's a ranging channel on the monthly and we don't know what to do, daily is about to give us an opportunity to trade Euro USD. And that's why I've said it will be targeting 20 to 50 pips short-term trades, you're not even entering for long, and then you're using stop loss. Now, as we wait for the market to activate that, uh, I hope everyone has spotted that double bottom, and I'm trying to help you. This double bottom is OPT. So for me, I've already marked it, and I'm waiting on it. So it's how many pips? Let's see. First, let me mark this as possible double bottom. So that's my possible double bottom. I'm really waiting on it. I can even put an alert at 1.10. So if we are remaining fewer pips, guys. It's just few pips, like 20 for that to be activated. When you flip on four hour, when you flip on four hour, we already have um we already have an, another pattern on four hour, and I'll show you. Let's go to four hour. So what basically what I'm trying to tell you, Euro USD has opportunity of a double bottom. So this is a double bottom on four hour, and we cannot assume we have OPT on four hour. We still have OPT on four hour. So I want you first to, I want this OPT, the market to break it because we can be thinking they will take for four hour, but they use the uh, daily, but they use four hour. So if I flip on the daily, you can see there is an activation of a small double bottom of, of four hour. And that's the interesting part of the market. So you have to be very, very keen. So they are sharing, they are sharing neckline. This the two double bottoms, they are sharing neckline. And we can, because already the double bottom on four hour has been activated, we can do what? We can we can check our half. So that is our half, guys. That is our half. So we can check that half. So the only thing that you need to understand is that the market can still, the, this trade, we have first to disqualify the double bottom on four before we come here. The first disqualification, I want you to put a line. And if this candle breaks like that, remove this and now concentrate on daily. So if I want you, because I'll be posting this video right away, at 1 a.m., come and check the candle that will close. If you find the candle that is breaking this first attempt, this is our first attempt, this is the second attempt. If the second attempt to break this zone, we are even good to go because I don't want to trade on four hour because on four hour, it will start giving us ideas of buying and all that. But when the market has activated, daily can you see the distance let me show you can you see the distance to the next level it is very far and it can be a very beautiful cup and handle so the next time i'm coming to discuss euro usd i want to come to discuss when either daily has been activated or or four hour the market has come and it is around here it is around uh, at the half. You can see that if they don't violate this double bottom, you will use CRB to enter that small buy. CRB means current resistance break. So if they bring a green red, you put a line, you target the half. If they break half, target the neck. That's the, the worst case scenario. They can use for hour. And why, why am I saying they can use for hour? Because for hour, double bottom is not on the daily. It is OPT. Still, for hour has OPT. And you see where the market is. So they can still come to this zone so that they can go down. So we need to be very alert. 
we need to be very alert with both uh, possibility. So where the market is on Euro USD, there's a chance for you to enter that trade if the trade gives you an entry. And then the, the last one, if, if they activate the, the double bottom below, we lose daily. That is it. Uh, that is it for Euro USD. It's a very interesting pair. This one will help you to understand what I mean by OPT. It will help you to it will help you with patience because you have to wait for resistance to form. You have to wait for all these things. I'll be keeping eye on it every four hour. I will come back to check what Euro USD is doing. And once that double bottom has been violated. Now my concentration can be on the daily. The reason why I'm telling you I would love daily double bottom is this, and uh, let me be quick. If the double bottom uh, activates, we can have two things. We can have we can have a complete. So let's say the double bottom activate here. I can have a market going up like a complete double bottom which will tell me to buy, or I can wait for the market to come to the half and then activate and then and then break the bottom and give me cup and handle. So I'll be able to trade this pair in a very simple way because I'll have two possibility. I will have a possibility of a double bottom that can complete and I will have a, a possibility of inverted cup and handle. The reason why I don't want it to, to be activated on four hour is because even if the even if the market breaks here, we still have this this zone to even if four hour gives us a cup and handle like they break here, we are not going to sell because we we'll still flip on daily to wait on what daily will see. So I hope that was was helpful. Add the Euro USD on your chart, and if the Euro USD does anything we have said in this video, come back to this video and comment and tell us your views. Thank you so much, guys. All the best today. May you trade become profitable. 2024 is our year to make it or make it. Bye-bye. Love you.